my theory is that Mihawk is from a royal family that got kicked out of Marie Joy's, just as the Don Quixote family did. His lineage is connected to Imusama, the enigmatic figure who wields immense power within the world government. It is likely that Mihawk's family possesses knowledge about Imusama's existence and the secrets hidden within the world of One Piece. Driven by a deep-seated resentment towards the celestial dragons who rule over the world, Mihawk has developed a burning hatred for their oppressive regime. As a result, he specifically targets marines who blindly follow orders from the celestial dragons, seeking justice and revenge for the injustices perpetuated by the world nobles. The sword that Mihawk wields, known as the Black Sword, holds great significance. It is believed that he obtained this treasured weapon from Marie Joyce itself, passed down from the former best swordsman. This connection to Marie Joy's further solidifies Mihawk's ties to the world of royalty and the secrets hidden within. The close bond between Mihawk and Shanks, the captain of the Red Hair Pirates, goes beyond mere friendship. It is speculated that their relationship is rooted in a political connection with the Five Elders, the highest governing body of the world government. This connection may have played a pivotal role in Mihawk's journey, shaping his path and influencing his decisions. As Mihawk's story unfolds, his quest for vengeance against the Celestial Dragons and his pursuit of becoming the greatest swordsman intertwined with the overarching narrative of One Piece. His royal heritage, knowledge of Imusama, and political ties to the Five Elders add layers of complexity to his character and motivations, making him an even more enigmatic and formidable figure in the world of One Piece. And so, the theory of Mihawk's backstory continues to evolve, with each new revelation painting a more intricate picture of this legendary swordsman with the following past. Born into a noble family, Mihawk grew up in a world of privilege and luxury. However, he was a restless soul, yearning for something more than a life of comfort. His heart was drawn to the thrill of adventure, the pursuit of power, and the mastery of the sword. As a young boy, Mihawk stumbled upon a legendary book hidden within his family's vast library. This ancient tome spoke of the Great Pirate Era, the Golden Age of Piracy, and the extraordinary individuals who roamed the seas. Fascinated by these tales, Mihawk became obsessed with the idea of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. Determined to forge his own path, he abandoned his noble upbringing and set sail as a lone swordsman. He traveled across the vast seas, challenging formidable opponents and seeking out renowned swordsmen to test his skills against. Each battle pushed him closer to his ultimate goal, to become the undisputed master of the sword. During his journey, he encountered a band of ruthless pirates wreaking havoc on a peaceful island. Driven by a sense of justice, he single-handedly defeated the entire crew, becoming a hero in the eyes of the island's inhabitants. Inspired by this experience, Mihawk realized that his swordsmanship could be used not only to achieve personal glory but also to protect those in need. Word of his incredible skill spread like wildfire, reaching even the ears of the infamous warlords of the sea. Recognizing his potential, the world government offered him a position among the warlords, a group of powerful pirates who allied themselves with the government in exchange for certain privileges. Accepting the offer, Mihawk became a feared and respected member of the warlords. However, he soon grew disillusioned with the corrupt nature of the world he had aligned himself with. He saw the suffering caused by the world government's oppressive rule and the unchecked power of the Yonko. Determined to maintain his independence, Mihawk severed ties with the world government, relinquishing his title. From that moment on, he became a lone wolf, wandering the seas as a solitary figure, challenging anyone who dared to claim the title of the world's greatest swordsman.